Welcome, blessed children of God. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are in the right place, positioned by the Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes we talk about positioning ourselves. That is to say, stay in the presence of God. God by himself positions us for the blessing. And in this message, I want to talk about not focusing on wrong dreams. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I'm so excited you are part of this family and God has brought you here. He has a purpose and a plan for you. You and the generations to come will be so different. You are a different generation. God has placed his hand upon your life. You won't be the same again. You might think you are in the pit right now like Joseph was, but you are coming out of there. So being in the right place matters. Connecting to the right people matters. You can be connected to this ministry and things are happening for you because of what God has planned for this ministry, because of what God is doing for others in this ministry. There are so many testimonies every single day and uh, God is moving us forward. So you are in the right place and I want you to focus on Jesus. I want you to place your eyes on him alone, on Jesus alone, who is able to take you out of that situation. Hallelujah. You being in this family, you will walk with your eyes open. I know that God is using so many vessels in the kingdom of God. All of us are parts of the kingdom and uh, God has given us different assignments. As long as you are in this family, you have to walk with your eyes open, spiritual first. And anything that you see in the physical, do not get surprised because it was already there in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. The presence of God is here. The presence of God is moving in this place, in your house, wherever you are in that car. God is locating you for the blessing he has for you. And I want you to connect right now. I want you to connect to the presence of God because the presence of God is God himself. And he wants to enter into that space. Invite him. Invite him. He's making a difference in your life, your generations to come, your children. And because God will never leave you nor forsake you, he will never break his covenant with you. He will never leave you in the middle to fend for yourself. Anything that is happening right now, God is in control. He is in charge. The maker of your life is in charge. And he knows exactly how to fix that problem. The story of Joseph is so powerful. It will never lose its relevance. We know that he was a dreamer. And all of you are dreamers here. And I'm talking about physical dreams and spiritual dreams, dreams that you dream at night and desires that you have. So the enemy is pushing you to and from, bringing this, bringing that, so that you can follow those wrong dreams. If you look at the story of Joseph, he focused. He knew what he wanted. No matter who threw him in the pit, he did not lose focus. Otherwise, he was not going to be prime minister. Promotion comes with a sacrifice. Promotion comes with focusing on the one who is leading you. And I want you to refrain from focusing on wrong dreams, following wrong dreams. Oh, they said this about me. Oh, there are agents in the family that are, have turned against me. Oh, my mother is a witch and is doing bad things against my life and you continue to follow those kind of stories, what you hear starts to shape your life. No matter what is happening in your life right now physically, follow the right dream. Follow the desires of your heart. Focus on what God has said about you. That is following the right path. That is following the desires God has placed inside of you. The other dream is the wrong one. The other path the enemy is pushing you to, what you hear, what you have experienced, what you see right now, what people are doing and what they are saying about your life. Don't follow that path. It's not the right dream. There's a dream ahead of you. There's a dream inside of you. That dream has to be fulfilled. And if you want those dreams to be fulfilled, how will be the outcome? How will the outcome be? Is it going to be a good one? If you are following the correct path, God is leading you no matter how painful it is, no matter how it seems right now, no matter how much shame you are going through right now, no matter how long it has taken for you to break forth, to have that breakthrough, follow the right path. 
because Jesus is leading you into that destiny, into that destination that is correct, that is meant for you. Joseph was hated so much. Many of you here might be going through the same thing, hated by your husband, your children, hated by your family members, hated by people in church, even your pastors. You wonder what is happening. Joseph was hated. His own siblings hated him. They didn't want him, but he pretended like nothing was happening. We don't, we don't read about Joseph complaining and mourning and getting discouraged. I'm sure he had those moments, but the Bible doesn't record them because it's not important. We focus on the blessing. We focus on the dream. We focus on pursuing God. We focus on God's presence. Anything that is not changing your life, you cannot focus on them. Anything that is not changing your life, that is not taking you to that destination, don't focus on it. Joseph was all alone. No one was there. He was alone. His God was there. This might be you today. You are like alone, going it alone. But don't worry, they will come. They appeared in the life of Joseph. Everything he went through, they ended up coming. And I'm sure just shame was eating them up. When God brings that time to bend your knees, you have no choice, you will bend. So the wrong dream that I'm talking about here is the opposite of where you want to be. Are you following the right path? Are you following the right direction? Whatever is happening right now, whoever hates you, whoever is not there for you, God is revealing more about them. As you are going through all this, you are learning more. So you might be here and saying, things are good for me. Everything you're talking about doesn't concern me because my family loves me so much. I have no enemies. I have no one who is doing bad things about my life and my friends are all okay. We praise God for that because there are good people out there. There are those who are on your side and we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that God will bless them, that God will lift them, that those on your side will prosper. Those who speak good about your life will prosper and, and pray for those who do not so God can open their eyes. Your job is to focus on the prize. Your focus must be on Jesus and everything else that is happening, God will deal with them. God will deal with any situation that is happening around you. That circumstance, God is going to bend it. You bring it down. Whatever it is, if it's a spirit rising from the pit of hell, God is going to deal with it. By his power, he's going to consume it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is on the physical side. Every dreamer here must not quit. Oh, I asked this person to pray for me and they were not there. I went to church and people don't like me or they didn't look at me or they didn't take care of me. Dreamers do not quit, no matter how tough it is. You continue focusing on the prize. You continue focusing on what God has spoken about your life. You continue pursuing God every single day because by being in his presence, things will change. There's nothing that can stay when God's presence is available. In Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 18, this is my favorite scripture because God has been bringing it over and over again. Abraham experienced hardship. He experienced a lot. He had a lot looking at his age and I'm sure he went through so much shame and people would look down on him, even Sarah, and he went against all that. This is the same as what we are going through in this life. What is happening now, someone already went through it in the Bible. That's why there are scriptures. That's why all these scriptures have been recorded for us to be strengthened, for us to stay on the prayer altar, knowing that the same God that did it for Abraham is able to do it for us right now. There's a spiritual side to this message. I want to encourage you not to focus on spiritual attacks. There are many times that you can be tempted to be praying only against spiritual attacks, against what you see in the dreams. Most of the time you find the enemy comes to attack throughout the night. 
and maybe for days and days, for months and months, are you going to spend your time focusing on what the devil is doing? Are you going to spend your time, your prayer time, waking up in the middle of the night, focusing only on what is not working? I want you to remove your eyes from those things. Pray against them, but take off your eyes from them and focus on Jesus, who is able to protect you, God himself who is able to protect you, and you will see that your dreams will come to fruition. Focusing on wrong dreams like spiritual attacks and you wake up, you are so discouraged, your emotions are all over the place, you are worried, you are scared because remember the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. That's how he starts. It comes on your mind and he throws those arrows. If you persist and say, devil, I don't want to see you in my dreams again, you stop. He's going to flee from you. But if your prayers are all because you are scared of all these spiritual attacks and you wake up because you are scared, fear does not come from God. You exercise your authority and the enemy will flee from you. It's so tempting to focus on negative things all the time. It's easy. You have to eat a balanced meal here. Otherwise, your body will starve. Your body is going to show that you don't have enough nutrients. Everything else about you will show. And this is spiritually too. If you're not balancing your prayer life, you only be experiencing one side of things. Your focus should be on fruitfulness, breakthroughs, blessings of the Lord, calling what is not as though it's already done, calling financial breakthroughs, calling that marriage restoration as though it's already done, believing throughout the day like the testimony I shared, that the sister, throughout the day, she was declaring things. Now it became like driving, like reflex action, that you don't even think about it. You just find yourself praising the Lord, declaring the blessing of the Lord over your life. Focus on the right things. Focus on what God is doing, the plan he has for you. And Jesus himself, who is the giver of all good things, your father is a good father and he will give you perfect and good gifts. And he's about to release those good gifts, those surprises. Hallelujah. So this is what I wanted to share in this message. I hope you have been blessed. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch. I hope your spiritual life is getting to another level. Your prayer life is not the same again. May the Spirit of God take you to the highest level in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, take time to do so because you are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.